The next one we're gonna try, which is our bonus notches, is aged in Woodford Reserve Double Oak Pearls. Ooh, two of them and you're done. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been Here. Today I'm super excited because I'm headed to Biscayne Bay Brewing Company in Doral. If you never heard about this brewery, it's named after Biscayne Bay, which is a natural lagoon here in Miami between Key Biscayne, Elliott Key, and Miami. So I've heard about this brewery before, but I've never been here. The other day I went to Grovetoberfest, I tried some of their beers, one of their beers in particular was aged in a rum barrel and it blew me away. So I contacted them and I told them I had to come and film. I wanted to get a tour of their brewery, try some of the beers. That's what we're doing today. We're also gonna see their bottling line, which has helped them expand to lots of stores and restaurants throughout South Florida, including Total Wine and two different Whole Foods stores. In terms of beers, I'm super excited to try their Colada, their Double Nine IPA, their Captain's Kush, and their pale ale. But the best part is they have a beer called Buenas Noches, which is an American whiskey aged imperial stout. Very dark, they're very strong in alcohol, and if you age it in a whiskey barrel, I have no idea what to expect from that, but that's gonna be amazing. So let's get there, we're gonna be there in two seconds. How's it going, buddy? Good to meet you. Very good. Yeah, this is great. Happy to have you here at Biscayne Bay. Jose Malaya, president owner of Biscayne Bay Brewing Company. We're gonna be hanging out, we're gonna try some awesome beers, we're gonna check out the back, walk you through our facility. You can see our brew system, then we're gonna talk a little bit about our barrel aged beers and some of the other styles that we have here in our tap room, as well as some of our car offerings. So this is like a tradition, I feel like everywhere I go is happening. Uh, what are you in the mood for? You wanna try one of the barrel aged beers? Let's do a roll. That's our barrel aged scotch ale, it's oak. It's just a whole different thing when it's aged, you know? Yeah. Bourbon barrel. Bourbon so, barrel. Uh, Woodford Reserve Double Oak Bourbon Barrel. This is the latest addition to the family. The bottom line arrived in July. We started running it in August. Sent our first beers out right before Labor Day. Did a private, just an exclusive launch with Total Wine. And then now we're available pretty much everywhere. ABC Crown, bottle shops, convenience stores. Prior to this, all our beer sales were in draft, the external sales. So we have six fermenters. Five of them are 30 barrel fermenters. Uh, one of them is a 15 barrel fermenter. Our brew house is a 15 barrel brew house. Last year we added three additional fermenters. These are made by BrewFab. On average we will brew three times a week. Usually those are double batches. Barrel aging program right now, there's these 12 barrels that are the next barrel aged beer. It takes a little bit of planning because you gotta make sure you acquire the barrels from the right seller or reseller. Have the right style of beer going into the barrel. Make sure you've got that programmed into your brewing schedule so that you make the beer on time. Fill the barrel and if you're gonna fill the barrel twice, have the second style ready to go right behind it so you can go into the barrel. So so there's a, a little bit of logistics involved, but it's a, it's a great added type of or style, if you want to say, right? Every barrel has a different story, and that story has an impact on your beer. These two tanks here, they're the hot and cold water, hot and cold liquor. On the right is the cold liquor tank, which is cooled by a glycol system. We have a chiller on the roof that cools all our tanks. And then on the left is a hot liquor tank, which is cooled by a high pressure boiler we have outside. So now we're going inside, we're gonna have a flight, maybe two flights, who knows? So now we're in the tap room. This is where the, the fun the fun happens. The magic happens at the back, the fun happens in the front. We're gonna start off with the six core beers, and that is Captain Kolsch, the La Colada, Miami Pale Ale, uh, Siren Saison, the Bayfront Amber, and the Double IPA. And the Double IPA. We have five of their six signature beers. We're about to get the other one now, just cashed out really quick. Absolutely, man. The first one you have there, that's the Kolsch. That's the Capitan's Kolsch. Phenomenal beer, very drinkable, very refreshing. Uh, it's become my personal favorite. Uh, it's our lightest beer, but I enjoy mm -hmm. it just because you can keep having it and you know, you just, and you're, you're, you're yeah, fine. And you're fine and you just want to keep enjoying that beer. The second one is our beer that I think has become really our, our flagship beer, has become our Miami Pale Ale. We love the name, obviously Miami Pale Ale, and when we named it that, we wanted to make a pale ale, a true pale ale, that was representative of, mm. of Miami's uh, characteristics, right? Citrus, right? See, if you didn't tell me it was a pale, I would have thought it was an IPA. Yeah, Just right, right. The hoppiness. The hoppiness, right yeah, it gets you in the, really on the front end. You smell it, it's in the nose, great bouquet. The difference is the finish. See, for me, it's like, it's a perfect IPA and it's very light. Number three. Number three is the Saison. That is the Siren Saison. Saison is a Belgian farmhouse style. Really fun beer. I'm like a huge Belgian, yeah. like, I'm a fanatic. I yeah. can just drink Belgian beers. And this is like, it's not like 100% like that, you know? Yeah. Like, it has the taste. Yeah, know? right, right. So this next one is our amber. Uh, it's our Bayfront Amber. An amber ale is a pretty 
drinkable beer, very balanced, kind of a nutty maltiness to it, not too hoppy. So that's one of those beers that's for that intro level nice. uh, craft beer drinker, someone who hasn't really had craft before. I would say this is like very suave. So but. then we have our colada coffee porter, our version of a, of a coffee porter. Yeah, and if you guys don't know what a colada is, that's basically a Cuban coffee. It's a very big coffee. It's, it's made to be shared with a lot of people. It's very strong. It's basically liquid crack, that's what I call it. Pouring some beers. And, isn't that awesome? This is amazing. That's excellent. Our last beer here is the Double Nine Double IPA in Dublin Nueve, right? The Double Nine Domino Chips one inspired it. Uh, it is an 8.2% double IPA. Uh, I would say it's more of an, where this is more of an American style pale, this is more of an English style double IPA. Sure. As far as double IPAs go, it's pretty, well, I'll tell pretty you, well balanced. For me, my favorite is this one for is sure. Is that right? The Galata, yeah. yeah. But I'm all about quarters and stuffs yeah. right now. Like, yeah. That's like, well, Mikey Mike will walk you through the barrel aged beers, including our Imperial Stout. So, you had the dude, awesome, man. Hey, thank you. Cheers, Cheers so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is great. great. All right, so now we're going to try our base style barrel aged beers. This will be our Scotch Ale which is our base style to our Aerobly over here. You could taste the scotch, <laughs> for sure. That's the cool thing about barrel aged beer is that if you like whiskey, you like bourbon, you like rum, you'll love this stuff, you know? Next one we're gonna try now is our Watusi, which is our unbarreled aged imperial stout. Again, aged in Woodford Reserve double oak barrels for about two months. So Watusi is named after a very popular Cuban song. Ooh, so this is just regular stout? That's just a regular imperial stout. The next one we're gonna try, which is our Buenos Noches, is aged in Woodford Reserve double oak barrels. Ooh, two of them and you're done. This one is our Buenos Noches again, but with chocolate and vanilla nubs in it. Oh my God, dude. I'm taking a growler of this one. There this you is go. like insane. <laughs> this is so good. Right there. Another one. It's an Imperial Brown Ale, aged in Jamaican rum barrels. Very smoky brown ale. Yeah, bro. You sold me on this one. Yeah. The next is our brand new beer, which is our special release, Double Buck. It's called The Navigator. It's listed at 9.4%. It's a very, very, Nice, smooth beer with a little sweetness to it. Try the Navigator. Very different. I like it. Now we're trying the Dubal. This one is listed at 8.3%. It's very sweet as well. It's not, it's not as dark as the other ones. It's a little more on the brown side. Is there a pumpkin in there? Not all naturally flavors from your hops, grains, yeast. I mean, I love beers that are aged in barrels. It's like a, it's like wine making. It's very different. Yes, these will give you the same notes of it, but it's just, it's just beer. It is an joy sitting down having two or three, four or five beers. The beautiful thing about the microbrewery scene is that we get to try things that other people won't do. All right, so we did a Biscayne Bay Brewery. This is one of the breweries in Miami that has a lot of barrel-aged beer. They have six main beers on top, they have four barrel-aged beers on top, and then they have a few specialty beers. Wow, those barrel-aged beers were incredible. It's close to the airport, it's in Doral, and uh, yeah, just a must-visit brewery in Miami. What I love about this brewery is they have a lot of barrel-aged beers. It's something very different, delicious. Love you guys, peace.